Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see complex algebra method. Uh, this complex algebra method it is also called as complex variable method. So here the complex in complex algebra method this method is applicable for the links in the given mechanism. So for analysis purpose, if you see here, now we have taken this link OA. Now we are not represented this name here, but if you consider this as one link, so R will be the magnitude of this link. And here theta is the orientation of this link in the planar part. Means this is nothing but the, if you consider this link in the Cartesian coordinate, it will form a planar mechanism or planar link, which will be having three degree of freedom. Now here the Cartesian coordinate, which is represented as X and Y axis, on the x axis, we have to consider these as a real axis because on this x axis, we are getting means we are having the real numbers. While on the y axis, these are the imaginary numbers, means imaginary axis, as we are having the imaginary numbers there. So, here i value i is nothing but the complex number. So, generally, the complex number is given as i is equal to under root of minus one. Gender by, by uh, universal, it is that value is i is equal to under root of minus one. So here, if you want to represent this link in the vector form, then we should be aware about its magnitude as well as direction. Now, if this R is the magnitude of this link, means here R bar, that is the vector form, which will be having magnitude as R and direction as e raised to power i theta. So this theta is the orientation given for this link in this planar part. So this will be the vector form where r is the magnitude of that link and e raised to power i theta will give you the unit vector in that direction. This e raised to power i theta is very important because it is the unit vector in the direction for that particular link. So here generally e raised to power i theta expansion is cos theta plus i sin theta. This is the universal part. So here just by multiplying this bracket, so if you take this value here, then you have to multiply r to this value. That's r cos theta plus i r into sin theta. And generally for i into e raised to power i theta is given as e raised to power i theta plus pi by 2. Means here, whatever the unit vector you have shown, the direction of that unit vector will be nine in 90 degree to the original position. Means this 90 degree unit vector direction will be for this particular link length position. Means for this vector, this will be the baseline. And from this you have to just plot the unit vector like this in 90 degree position. Now here, if you do the velocity analysis, so basically what do you mean by displacement? Displacement is nothing but the change in or position, change in position or orientation of that point or a system. Then what is velocity? Velocity is nothing but the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. So as per that definition of rate of change of displacement with respect to time, if you consider this velocity, if you know, you know velocity it is the vector form. So whatever the first orientation vector form, we have to take it with respect to time. So this R into e raised to power i theta, we have to differentiate with respect to time. Okay. So here, if you see this R magnitude is constant, means if you consider that link anywhere in the universe, the length of that link is going to be constant. And here, if you see, this is the, some uh, anti-clockwise sense of rotation is given, means motion is there. So you will be getting theta for this planar part. So here, R will be constant, so we have taken it outside. Then what is the derivative of e raised to power x? That is e raised to power x. So e raised to power i theta derivative will be e raised to power i theta into d by d theta of i theta. Because these terms are sub part of this term. So this will be what? I into omega because d theta by dt is nothing but the angular displacement with respect to time. So that value will be given as omega. So what is will the final expression? The final expression will be r e raised to power i theta into i into d theta by dt. So this i d theta by dt is nothing but the angular velocity, angular displacement. So r, this small r is nothing but what? It is the radius of for that link. Okay, this value and e raised to power i theta. So then afterwards, as I have told you that this, this will be e raised to power i theta plus pi by 2 will be the unit vector, which will be perpendicular, which will be at 90 degree with respect to the original position of link. So this will give you the first unit vector, first velocity component, which is at 90 degree position with respect to this reference line. This reference line means it is the reference link here. Okay, so in this way, you will be showing the velocity component, which will be having unit vector in this direction. 
so this is the basically the velocity representation for this link then we will see the acceleration analysis so what is the basic definition of acceleration acceleration analysis is nothing but it is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time so now here we have to differentiate the velocity velocity formula with respect to time so here if you see i have written it here the velocity formula and now we have to differentiate with respect to time so here now we have to apply this r you know that r is nothing but the length we have taken it outside as it is constant universally throughout then here we have to apply the formula of derivative that is u into v so what is the formula of u into v that will be equal to u into dv by dx plus v into dv by dx so that same formula now here we are applying so this omega will be u and this e raised to power i theta plus pi by 2 will be v so u into dv by dx means dv d into this part divided by dt so it will be e raised to power i into theta plus pi by 2 into i into d theta by dt plus v is as it is plus d omega by dt means du by dt then afterwards here by multiplying this value of r inside the bracket so this d theta by dt is nothing but omega so omega into omega it will be omega square so r into omega square into e raised to power i theta plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 because here it will be now common so pi by 2 plus pi by 2 will be equal to pi so it will be equal to what r into omega square into e raised to power i theta plus pi plus r into multiplying r into d omega by dt is nothing but what angular displacement with respect to time so as we know the definition of acceleration is the velocity with respect to time so here in terms of angular velocity it will be this the definition of acceleration is velocity with respect to time so for angular velocity with respect to time we will be having angular acceleration and that angular acceleration value is given by the alpha so here if you see d omega by dt d omega by dt will be equal to alpha at this alpha is nothing but the angular acceleration so r into alpha into e raised to power i theta plus pi by 2 now the acceleration component for this link will be having two part one will be radial component another one will be tangential component means this total acceleration of that any link in the given mechanism will be equal to the summation of radial component acceleration plus tangential component of acceleration so then only we will getting the total acceleration of that link and now here if you see the value means the unit vector for this direction will be equal to how much e raised to power i theta plus pi so pi is nothing but 180 degree so whatever the acceleration component which we are getting it will be at 180 degree with respect to the first position so this will be the velocity component which is at 90 degree and this will be the acceleration component which is at 180 degree with respect to the first position of the link so in this way we are doing the acceleration analysis of the link where the total acceleration component of the link will be equal to the summation of radial component plus tangential component thank you